There's not one right way to set up for a squat, so don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But a common mistake is to do them with your feet too narrow. You want to start with your feet about shoulder width apart, or actually just outside of that, and your toes pointing forward. From here, it's a matter of personal preference. If you want to go a little wider with your toes pointing out just a little bit, or even slightly narrower, that's okay. Um, just find a position that's comfortable and that works for you, and then don't be afraid to mix it up from time to time. The next thing you might wonder is how deep you should go with your squat. I always say that you should try to get your upper legs about parallel to the ground or just below it. But what really matters is that you don't want to get hurt. So if you can't go that low, do what you can. You can squat down a little bit, even go down onto a chair if you want. Um, the stronger you get, the lower you'll be able to go so you can work up to it. But for the average person, there's really no reason to go super low or really much lower than just below parallel with the upper leg. Now I do suggest looking in a mirror while you do it because you're going to think that you're going that low and you'll wind up really only getting to about here. Once you've mastered that, you have basically an unlimited number of variations. Everything from all kinds of single leg squats like different types of lunges or split squats, different loading options like a barbell, a dumbbell or kettlebells, different types of reps like pause squats or doing holds or one and a half reps. All of those variations are based on the simple squat. As far as where to start, I recommend the goblet squat, which is done with a kettlebell or a dumbbell held in front of you with a weight like this. You can use as light or as heavy as a weight as you need, but I recommend starting conservatively with a low weight and high reps.